<laughs> no calendar. So this is full calendar. Um, it looks like this. So it looks pretty cool. Um, and you can change week or month or day. So it's actually pretty, really, really cool. But let's just see how to get started. So we click on get started. Let's say you have individual packages you could download. So we're going to download this and we're just going to use the files. There's a scheduler, which is the premium products. So I think full calendar is free and then the scheduler you have to pay for something like that. And we see we're going to download this. I already downloaded it. So I'm just going to import the files. All right. All right. So I'm cutting across the files. The first thing I need is the full bundle, um, calendar CSS. And then we need the Javas, well, the jQuery or JavaScript. So the bundle of JavaScript should that come before or after jQuery? I'm not sure. I'm just going to put everything after jQuery. All right. So we need those two things for sure. So let me copy in the files. So our files are copied in. You see, we have full calendar bundle JS here and full calendar bundle CSS. So that might be all that we need. So we're going to go ahead and see. First, we're going to create um, a calendar object. Um, let's actually define our calendar now. So we are going to say, and this is JavaScript. So we're going to say for calendar. Yeah, element is document get element or ID. So we just get an, we just get in the calendar div, and we're gonna say if calendar. That's spelled wrong. Calendar. And the reason we're doing this is um, if you wanna create it multiple times, it would rebuild. So if it takes this, we're going to destroy it. Otherwise, let's get into actually building the calendar. So, you know, I keep spelling the wrong thing. Calendar is equal to new full calendar. 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 Calendar EL. Passing the EL. And then we have our properties. So for events, this is where we pass in any events that we have, but we don't have any events. Then we have a plugins um, section, which says interaction. I might not go through all of this, but you could check out the documents to see what it all means. Time grid. Although it's kind of self-explanatory. Those are the plugins. In the header, so we could have left, and we might take out some of these prev, previous, next, and today. Should not have a comma next to it. My example doesn't have it. Center is equal to title, and the right, if we have some buttons on the right. Day, grid, month. Time grid week, time grid day. All right, so right now I have some other things, but I can ignore all of that and then say calendar render. I'm going to try this out to see if it works. I'm not sure if it would work. Well, it works. So, yeah, we officially have.